shopping cart or e-commerce website. All right, there's three things you gotta do first. You gotta find yourself a host, whether it's paid or free. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use a free hosting. I'm gonna use 00webhost.com. As you can see on my website right here, bestfreewebdesign.us, I have three different free hostings that are very great to use. I like to use 00webhost, freehosting.eu, and buy host. All right, the second thing you're gonna do is you gotta find the shopping cart. There's multiple different types of shopping carts out there. Um, you have paid ones and free ones. I'm going to use in this tutorial a free shopping cart called Open Cart. All right. So you got to get your hosting and download your Open Cart. So to download the Open Cart, all you do is go to OpenCart.com, select the Download tab, and download the latest version of their open source shopping cart. Third thing you got to do is download a FTP file manager and for this tutorial I'm going to use FileZilla which you can go to FileZilla-project.org and go ahead and download the program from there. Alright, once you've downloaded OpenCart and FileZilla and you've created your free hosting account with a 00 web host, go ahead and log into your hosting account. Alright, from here on 00 web host you're going to be able to see multiple different options. On the C panel you have different types of domain uh, properties, you could add email accounts, you can create websites, choose website templates, upload files, create databases, redirect IP addresses, all kinds of junk. <clears throat> so now that you've got your open cart downloaded, the first thing we got to do is create a database. So on the hosting side, in the administrative panel, go find this little icon, it looks like a little dolphin, it says My SQL. Go ahead and click on there and you're going to get this little box. For database name, for this example I'm going to use shop All right, as the database name and the username is going to be admin. For this one, the password I'm going to do admin1234 and I'm going to type that in again. All right, it's best if you don't use a generic admin1234 admin anything for your password. Go ahead and create something unique so that way no one can hack into your website and change up your database. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create your database. And go on back to the main panel. Alright, so the next step is you need to open up your FileZilla. Alright. If you've never used FTP before, go back to your hosting account, select the view of FTP details, and go ahead and copy and paste this information into the <clears throat> into FileZilla. So randominfo.net 63.net is going to be my host. My username is going to be all these little numbers right here. And I'm going to simply type in my password that I utilize for the hosting account. Alright, from here it's going to take us to the it's going to show on the right hand side our files that are in the hosting account and then it's going to show you on the left side what's on our computer. All right. Now I've already uploaded the OpenCart software to save time for this video. As you can see OpenCart-1.5.6. Right. In order to transfer a file, I'm going to use this example folder to kind of give you, to show you how to do it. You're going to upload your open cart file, but I'm going to use this example one. All you do is drag it over, and I'm going to select override because I've already got an example folder in there. And simple as that, you that uploads all your documents, all your files into your hosting account. Once you're at this point right here, go ahead and go to your open cart folder, and we're going to change the name of a couple of files in here. All right, the first file we're going to change the name of is under Upload the Folder. And go down and you'll find config-dist.php. Go ahead and select it and choose Rename. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much take away the dash and the dist, delete that out there to make it config.php. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing under admin. Click on the admin folder, find the same file, 
I'm going to rename, take away dash disc, make config.php. Once that's completed, go ahead and close out filezilla. All right, so from here we can go on and start installing the open cart itself. All right, in order to do this, we're just going to go over to our domain right here and click on it. <clears throat> Since you have no files, HTML files that are operating a website right now, you're going to see a couple links. So for here, we're going to click open cart 1.5.6. I'm going to select it. And for this, for mine, I have it in there twice. Yours should go directly to these specific links right here. On these links, you can go to upload, and it should bring you to an install page. You're going to select I agree and continue. Now, you should have all, should be shown writable, and you should have all checks minus the magic quotes. Don't worry about that negative sign right there. Once you're done here, you're going to select continue. And then we're going to type in our host and database names. So for here, a local, local host is going to be changed to, let's go back real quick. It's going to be changed to this mysquill one decimal zero 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 webhost.com. Yours might be a little bit different, so make sure you take a double look at your um, at your database itself. Then my username is going to be the Z uh, alpha two four blah blah underscore admin. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that right in here. Type in my admin one two three four password. Oops. Yeah, put it in the other box so. And then my database name. I'm going to go over here, copy the database name, and paste it right there. Step two is create a username and password for the actual open cart itself. Now, this is very important that you don't forget this information because it will be the username and password for the administrative portion that you're going to use when you log into your shopping cart admin side. So, for here, I'm going to leave this as admin. I'll make the password admin1234 and I'm going to use my email address I made for my random info site. And then I'm going to select continue. If everything goes smoothly, this should show a finished page. Alright, it says don't forget to delete your installation directory. In order to delete the installation directory, we're going to go to FileZilla. Once this loads up, we're going to click this little arrow that comes down, and I'm going to select my random info host account. I'm going to public HTML folder. I'm going to go to open cart 1.5.6. Mine shows it twice. I'm going to go to upload. <clears throat> and I'm going to delete this entire folder called install. And it's going to delete everything inside of it. And while that's doing its thing, <clears throat> we're going to go over to our login to your administrative administration. Go ahead and click on that. And here we're going to type in our username and password that we created. So mine is admin, admin1234. I'm not going to save the password and it'll take me to my dashboard. From here you can go in and change you can change all your products and categories, change all your shipping payment methods and go ahead and uh, get cruising on making this site your own. Now if you want to see what it looks like when you first install it, click on store front top right hand side and it'll show you what the open cart platform.